Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the LaySoft Recovery Suite Windows Recovery Tools. So this software you could download for free and you could use it for various things like data recovery, disk imaging, and password recovery. So this option works really good actually if you need, if you forgot your password and you don't have another account you could get into with. So we have a video on that you could check out. But in this one we're going to talk about Windows Recovery. But in order to use this you need to install this software on a working computer if your other computer is not working and then create either a bootable uh, flash drive or DVD CD so you could uh, boot to it and then run the tools so to do that you just run the software click on this option here pick your operating system if it's different from the one that you're running it on click on next decide if you're gonna boot to it, make a CD make a flash drive make an ISO file and then just click on start it'll make that you know one of these three options here I did the uh, ISO boot file here and then uh, you could use that to load on your computer and start the recovery process, which we're going to do now. So I'm going to cancel this. So I have this Windows 11 virtual machine that I have the ISO file mounted on. So I'm going to start it up. We're going to run the tools here. Okay, press any key to boot from DVD. So now you have a couple options here. You could just run the Windows memory diagnostic if you want to just run that instead of the uh, utility itself. But we're going to pick the live CD. So it's kind of got a Windows 10 back end to it, so you'll see the Windows logo. Don't go thinking it's booting your actual computer because it's just using this to load the tools. Okay, then when you're in there, you'll notice a similar looking screen. Then you just want to go to Windows Recovery. And it's going to find your Windows boot drive here. You just click OK. All right, so now it's broken down into sections here. So here's all the main sections here. One click fix solution, boot crash, loading crashes, random crashes, restore from a backup. And then you kind of see these kind of match here. So if you go to the one click fix, so if you don't know what you're doing, you just want to try a one click fix and see if you get lucky, you could try that. Here's some boot crash options. So if you want to do a master boot record repair, a boot sector repair, rebuild your boot menu, missing Windows file repair, run the check disk, and then this final solution option again. So if you have loading crash problems, you could open system restore right from here. Uh, registry recovery, so it'll try and restore your registry to its original status. You could even run the registry editor from here if you need to try and make some changes. And then once again, final solution, random crash issues. There's the memory diagnostic, which you'll need to reboot to run. System restore again, register your recovery again, final solution. Then we have the restore disk tab. So you could, um, if you have like an image file that you could load and try and recover your computer from a backup image, then they have their own file manager that you could do. So if you just need to cut and copy some files here, I don't think you could open any files. Let's see here. So if I double click this, nothing happens, but I could cut, copy, rename, and delete it or look at the properties of it. And then there's a Windows File Manager. And we probably can't do this, do anything with this either. Let's see. Yeah, open doesn't do anything. Rename, delete make a new folder, that type of thing. So you could probably just move stuff around if you need to. But it makes sense you can't open anything because you're not really in Windows here. Then you have your Final Solution tab here. And if you need to find your Windows key, you could come here and do that. So if you ever need to load, reload Windows, you could get your uh, serial number first. And then more, more buttons for the same file managers. And then this has kind of like a master list of repair tools. A lot of them are the same. Uh, Lost partition recovery, the same file manager, master boot record, BCD doctor, boot file recovery, boot editor if you rebuild your boot menu, the same registry options, check partitions, fix the disk signature, the Windows backup, if you want to do that, Windows restore again, if you want to open a command prompt, and then change your active partition and run, run, run the uh, system file checker, you can do that from here. 
So yes, a lot of things you could do with this tool. So what I would do is just, you know, get it ready. And then you could come in here, run a tool if it doesn't work, come back in and boot again, run a tool if it doesn't work until you find the one that uh, fixes your problem because you never know which one it's going to be because there's so many problems you could have with Windows not booting up correctly. But hopefully this will do the job and it's free to use. So download and give it a shot. I'll put a link in the description and you could take it from there. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.